Get that cold start. I'm so quiet, man. Woo! Traction control off. Oh, we got a little little coop action. What up, what up? Yeah, yeah, what is going on YouTube? We are back at it uh, with another vlog style video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this camera angle. I'm trying something a little different than you guys looking at my uh, ugly ass face all the time. Um, but for today's video, man, I'm gonna answer a question that I get uh, quite often. Actually, to be honest, uh, oh, G35X, what up, what up? Uh, to be honest, the question pops up on the channel at least once a week, and that question is, do I have to put premium fuel in my G35? And in a nutshell, the answer is yes. If you guys bought a VQ35, which is, you know, whether it be, I guess, a 3.5 liter, 3.7 liter, um, unfortunately, these cars are high compression, um, high revving engines, produce a lot of power for the size of the engine. And in order to do that, you have to put a premium grade fuel. Now, I had a couple people um, comment saying, you know, like, can I put 87? Because where I live, 87 is like the most common fuel and it's the most accessible. Now, you can put 87 octane. I've met people who say that they never run premium fuel. Like, you know, the VQ35s come in a range of vehicles, whether it be an Altima, a Maxima, um, Nissan Quest, obviously the G35s. And, you know, some people, especially, you know, people that own minivans, don't want to put premium fuel in their cars every single time they fill up. So I've met people who only use 87, who only, uh, you know, who only, well, they'll use 87 on one fill up and then, you know, only use 91 every so often. And, you know, they've ran fine with no issues. Now, the only, uh, you know, my only reasoning for not using a lesser uh, grade fuel is because I run my car pretty much as hard as it can possibly run all the time. Like, obviously, right now I'm taking it easy because it's raining. But for the most part, I'm usually hitting red line every single time that I enter the highway. Now really, the only risk for you running a lower grade fuel is you could get ping. Now ping is basically when the air and the fuel in the cylinder head doesn't combust properly. And uh, you get like, you'll hear like knocking eventually. And you know, some cases, I guess people running 87 octane, maybe they don't run their cars quite as hard as i do but me you know running this car as hard as i do i want to make sure that i have the highest octane possible now around here in toronto uh the most common grades are 87 89 and 91 and occasionally at other gas stations you'll get like a 94 um which is you know i think shell has 94 for their like really high octane for me, I've always used 91 in the G35. I think there was one time when I had the Altima, and those of you guys who have been subscribed to the channel for a while, woo, love this thing, man. Uh, will have remembered the Altima, and I think I put 87 in, 87 in it one time, like when I first got it, I said, you know what, let's try 87. I literally drove it down the block, and I just, inside of my mind, I was, going over all these things what happens if I wreck the motor Ooh, Lexus yeah, yeah. and uh, you know I stopped at the very next gas station which I think was like two maybe three blocks down the road and I got I got a little bottle of octane booster and ever since then I've just put in high octane and you know really if you want to get the full horsepower potential out of your car which obviously I do I have a lot of fun in this car the hell we need a little bit of uh defrogulation on this side we're fogging up you know if you want to get the best performance out of your car oh please hold do a little second gear pull here maybe an open window couldn't hurt Uh, so back 
to the vlog. You know, I'm doing things like this every single day in my car, acting a fool, only to merge on the highway though, let's not get it confused, I'm not driving like an idiot all the time. However, in order for me to do these things in my car safely and uh, with a peace of mind, definitely the highest octane that you can get. If all you can get where you live is 87, uh, you know, it couldn't hurt to put that in, let's say, every other uh, fill up. That way you're kind of mixing low grade with high grade, but I would definitely not do it on the regular. At the very, very least, 89 octane, and even that, I'm, I'm not comfortable doing myself. I've driven these VQs for uh, going on about six years. I had, obviously, the Altima before this, so I'm like in it for about six years, so really, I haven't had too much issues, man. Just put in some good oil, um, make sure you put in some good fuel, and obviously take care of your brakes, because those are important when you have a car with, you know, this much horsepower. Not that it's a lot of horsepower, but it's a little bit more than your average uh, Honda Civic, or actually, I don't know, Honda Civic's getting pretty powerful these days, man. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so let me know if you guys enjoyed this one, if this camera angle is any good. I don't know, hopefully I'm getting a nice angled shot here. Uh, looks like we're about to hit some traffic. It's Friday. You guys will probably be seeing this video on a Sunday. This guy needs to get over. I don't know why, but come on in, buddy. Not like I was using that lane, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's Friday. About to chill out, have a good weekend, um, make some diffusers. You guys will probably be seeing a couple videos next week. Um, on some diffuser builds uh, as you guys know I put one on my my car last weekend and I got a couple of my friends who are uh, you know looking to do something similar so look forward to that and as always if you guys enjoyed this one don't forget to smash that like button if you're not subscribed yet uh, definitely do so I think it'll be somewhere at the bottom here I don't even know if you're watching on a phone I don't know where it's gonna be probably at, somewhere at the bottom and uh, that's about it, man. So with that being said, I'm going to get home, maybe hit a couple corners on the way there, and uh, let's get this night started, man. So as always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. We're going to catch y'all at the next one, man.